Welcome to the public meeting for the I-75 Rest Area Reconstruction Project. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. If you dialed in today on the telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com. Dot com forward slash project forward slash four three eight five six two dash one. For online participants, the GoToWebinar control panel should be visible in the upper right corner of your computer screen. If joining GoToWebinar on your mobile device, simply tap the screen to display the same options. The blue arrows in both images point to where you will find the question box. You can type a comment or question in the question box. Then click Send to submit your comment or question to staff. The red arrows in both images point to where you can find handouts, documents, and comment forms for this public meeting. Click the Handouts icon to see available handouts. Click on the file name to download. If you happen to experience a technical issue during this meeting, please type the issue in the question box on the control panel on GoToWebinar to report it, or send an email to carolyn.fitzwilliam at dot.state.fl.us. That's C A R O L Y N dot F I T Z W I L L I A M at dot.state.fl.us or call 407 637 7461. Staff will do their best to assist you. We encourage your input and feedback about this project. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by May 21, 2021, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing following the meeting. This public meeting is being recorded. A recording of this presentation will be posted on the project's webpage within one week following the meeting. If you are participating online, you may submit written questions or comments in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 438562-1. You may also email your comments and questions to the project manager directly at megan.owens at dot.state.fl.us. That's megan.owens at dot.state.fl.us. You may mail Written comments and questions to Project Manager Megan Owens at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, M-S 542, DeLand, Florida, 32720. You may also call the Project Manager at 386-943-5140 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours after the public meeting. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. The Florida Department of Transportation is required to comply with various non-discrimination laws and regulations, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concern about the Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5 Title VI Coordinator by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, DeLand, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367, or email at jennifer.smi. TH2 at DOT dot STATE dot FL dot US. That's Jennifer dot Smith two 
at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 3239-0450. By phone at 850-414-4753 or email at jacquelline dot p a r a m o r e at d o t dot s t a t e dot f l dot u s. That's Jacqueline dot paramore at d o t dot state dot f l dot u s. This information is shown on a sign at the in person location on the project website and in the meeting notifications. This public meeting was advertised in the Florida Administrative Register on FDOT's public notices website, in the Ocala Star banner, and on social media and on the project webpage. In addition, adjacent property owners, interested individuals, and elected and appointed officials and government agencies were also notified about this public meeting. This project is located at the northbound rest area located on I-75 north of County Road 484 and south of State Road 200 in Marion County. The purpose of this project is to update the facility to better serve travelers. The department is designing plans to reconstruct both the northbound and southbound rest areas. However, only the northbound rest area is currently funded for construction. The existing rest area includes worn pavement areas, an aging building with limited restroom capacity, picnic tables, limited parking capacity for both semi-tractor trailers and passenger vehicles, and outdated on-site water and wastewater plants. In 2018, a traffic study was performed which forecasted future volumes. Based on this report, there will be a 1.3% growth rate for traffic on I-75 and more utilization of the Marion County rest areas. The new rest area design accommodates this growth and the need for larger facilities. At the northbound rest area, the existing truck parking lot will be resurfaced and become the new car parking lot. This will initially add 93 spaces with room for future expansion and include 10 handicap accessible parking spaces at the main entrance of the building. In the center of the car parking area will be a grass section where a dog park will be located. The truck parking lot will be moved behind the rest area building and include a recirculation loop with a widened lane for possible truck staging. We will initially add 25 truck parking spaces. The rest area design will accommodate future expansion if needed and will not require additional right of way. New drainage improvements will be included in the form of new ponds on site. The rest area will also be equipped with the truck parking availability system which uses sensors in the truck parking area to detect whether a space is occupied. The system then posts the number of available spaces on signs along I-75 to alert oncoming truck traffic of parking availability. The new building will feature new family-friendly amenities such as doubling the overall restroom capacity and adding family restrooms with changing stations. The design separates the men's and women's facility in separate wings at either end. The courtyard included with the building will be protected from the elements and still provide views of the facility and natural surroundings. Amenities and seating will be abundant to accommodate those needing to stretch in the beautiful Florida setting. Vending machines will be centrally located near the restroom areas of both wings at each end of the courtyard. Outside, the picnic pavilions and dog park will be conveniently located for accessibility and proximity to all other amenities. There will be a children's play area with raised earth berms or small hills for interactive fun, allowing parents as much needed opportunity to rest while their children release energy from being in the car. The play area is within direct view of the security station and separated from traffic with extra wide sidewalks, a row of protective traffic barriers, and low walls doubling as additional seating. The entire facility is being designed to provide an opportunity for the traveling public to rest comfortably in an inviting and playful setting. The building and amenities will be environmentally conscious and energy efficient. The project also includes demolition of the on-site water, wastewater plants, 
and the addition of more efficient water wastewater utility services from Marion County Utilities. Security is also important, and the design includes enhanced security features such as better visibility for security guards to see the entire property, increased nighttime illumination levels, and a freestanding security station in the middle of the building for observation of amenities. The facilities will be inclusive, accessible, and comply with Americans with Disabilities Act, or ADA, guidelines. Vehicle and traffic patterns are carefully coordinated with pedestrian zones and public amenities for safety. Pending Federal Highway Administration approval, the northbound rest area will be closed during construction, which is anticipated to take approximately 12 to 14 months. During this time, travelers can stop at the Alachua County Rest Area on I-75, which is 37 miles north of the rest area under construction, or the Sumter County Rest Area on I-75, which is 39 miles south of the rest area under construction. Commercial truck drivers can also use the comfort stations at the way station approximately seven miles south of the rest area. There are also exits four miles north and five miles south for those needing to stop before the next rest area. Signs will be posted leading up to the rest areas, alerting drivers to the closure and their options. The design for this project is estimated to be complete in summer 2022. The work is all within the right of way. Construction on the northbound rest area is estimated to begin in fall 2022. The southbound rest area is not yet funded for construction. The estimated construction cost for the northbound rest area is $26.3 million. To learn more about this project, you can go to www cflroads.com, click on the search icon and enter the project number 438562-1 in the search box at the top right and click go. Then click on the project name in the top right. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now and a recording of this public meeting will be posted to the website within one week following the meeting. We encourage your input and feedback about this project. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by May 21, 2021, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing following the meeting. This public meeting is being recorded. A recording of this presentation will be posted on the project's webpage within one week following the meeting. If you are participating online, you may submit written questions or comments in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 438 562-1. You may also email your comments and questions to the project manager directly at megan.owens at dot.state.fl.us. That's megan.owens at dot.state.fl.us. You may mail Written comments and questions to Project Manager Megan Owens at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, M-S-542, DeLand, Florida, 32720. You may also call the Project Manager at 386-943-5140 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours after the public meeting. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by May 21st. Contact information, a recording of this public meeting, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting will be posted on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 438562-1.
Have a good evening.